to an episode of Witchcrafting. I am your hostess, Windora. I am a day late. I'm typically here on Saturday, but um, I kind of had one of those unexpected kind of crazy weekends. So I am uploading now. You were looking at um, my meditation altar. This is going to be my outdoor altar that I talked about on my personal channel. And honestly, it's kind of turned into a meditation altar instead because it's hard for me to do workings here um, because as you see, there is a road right here. And not that we have a very populated road, but it can break the focus. This tree here has always been very, very, very sacred to me. I feel very drawn to it and very called to it, and I always come to it. And at first I was going to move the altar because of what it, the, the situations I just described, but I realized it's such a peaceful and magical spot that I just cannot do that. So what you're looking at is I have stones, which are normally more in line, someone must have bumped them, um, that I had for my decorations at my apartment when I lived there, and I just transformed it into more of a circle. Um, you could complete the circle, but honestly, I like the openness. I hope the wind's not messing with you. And I love how these ones have like a backdrop to them. And technically, you could put rune symbols on them to make it even more sacred and to do things to the area. Um, you can put them on the bottom of the bricks so as, the, as the lining to be protected or whatever type of energy you're wanting to bring, especially if it's going to be your outdoor altar. Um, I have a decorative. It's actually a piece of a statue um, right here. I'm above it. Sorry. <laughs> Um, for like an altar table to put candle magic workings as you can see has happened and I have a Buddha who has a melted candle there as well I also make offerings here it's just kind of a relaxing kind of sanctuary it's I can do magical workings here but it's becoming more of a meditation spot and what is awesome is the grass here doesn't really grow tall so it's okay for me to have this brick and stuff here I don't have to move it frequently because this grass stays really low so it isn't even a problem when it comes to mundane yard upkeep so I just wanted to share that with you guys you can really step outside the box and it's something I keep realizing when it comes to magical things anything can be magical anything can be transformed into being a witchy thing if you look at it as a witchy's perspective so you can go to lawn and garden and find bricks and turn them into it it can be a magical brick slate you could put the intention into that brick i mean brick itself is a very powerful um, substance it has its own powerful energies and purposes you know so you could pick the specific brick and stone that you're wanting to use for whatever type of altar you're setting up because of the energy they bring and the purpose not just because of the look so if you really want to just look at it from a witchy perspective you can really make something very powerful very witchy very potent and powerful for yourself and just in the aspect of setting up an area you know what I mean like having that outlined like I have here now you don't have to have that that's not something I'm saying I'm just stating if you can come up with a few extra bucks to do so you can these bricks here I think were like so many cents per brick you know these little stones here I think these went up maybe two dollars a slab so technically if you really just like took 20 bucks and you could probably depending on what stone you're looking for have a full setup and maybe even build a alter itself out of these things to have it you know what I mean it, it pop the possibilities are endless and you don't have to go to you know the black cat or I'm just trying to make up names I'm not calling out any shops you don't have to go to any of these shops to find witchy stuff you can go to Lowe's you can go to Menards you can go to Walmart and find witchy things it's all the intention that you put behind it and the purpose and everything has an energy you just got to haul upon it and ask it to um you know help you in your magical workings or whatever purpose you're doing so it's a beautiful slowly turning to fall out here i'm very excited as you can see some of the leaves here but they're still green so we're not completely there yet and i just wanted to share that with you i'm very sorry that i was late um i'm just kind of having more of a flow relaxed weekend um, instead of more structured like i have been having so i do apologize and i will see you guys next week and we have a special week coming up i'm pretty excited about it i'm not sure if anyone's went over it to be honest i haven't caught up on my videos as much this week um but i'm very excited so stay tuned catch up with us next week and um, keep watching us here on witchcraft and peace love and light guys bye